For our exploration today, we're taking you back to the start of art, back to the cave discoveries at Lascaux, France, where we learn about when and where cave paintings were discovered, what they can tell us about the time period in which prehistoric man lived, and what they can tell historians today. It all started in 1940 when four boys and a dog went to discover what they thought were hidden tunnels between two historic castles. Their names were Marcel Ravidat, Jacques Marcel, Georges Angel, and Simon Conesas, and their dog, Robot. So they went on an exploration to find this supposed tunnel and they found an opening in the earth. They used their hands and a pen knife to dig an opening just large enough to lower one of them, Marcel, down into a dark passageway. They only had one oil lamp between the four of them and their dog and just wait until you see what they discovered. Marcel remembers his first encounter, describing it as a cavalcade of animals larger than life. Each animal seemed to be moving. That's a direct quote from Marcel Ravidat in 1940. So the boys, thinking they had found something huge, swore each other to secrecy. Well, you know how that goes. So little by little, they would tell their family and friends until they decided to each allow five people to come down into the cave and see what they discovered. After charging admission, of course. <laughs> they then asked their teacher, Leon Laval, to come see the cave drawings. Now, being a grown man, he, there was some persuasion to get him to climb down into a boy-sized hole at the time of the opening of the cave, but he did and he immediately presumed the drawings to be from prehistoric times. This just escalated into a huge, huge deal. And soon Lascaux Cave became open to the public. Um, it stayed open to the public from 1948 until 1963 when it closed. Uh, during this time, the carbon dioxide levels were so high from so many people being down in this closed environment that visitors began to pass out. Artificial light and moisture were actually ruining the vivid colors of the wall drawings. And something that they termed as green sickness began growing on the walls, a sign of too much human contact. Cave discoverer Marcel Ravidat camped out at the opening of the cave and would continue to protect the cave until the time of his death. So, are there caves with cave drawings anywhere else in the world? In fact, they have been discovered all over the globe with a high concentration in Eurasia, more than 280 sites in this one area alone. Some caves were found to have one or two drawings, where some have hundreds of art and artifacts, especially those in the Europe-Asia area. So, do these caves only contain drawings of animals? Animals are common imagery, but there are many different kinds of drawings, carvings, and even crude sculptures. There are mysterious outlines of hands found over and over again in many caves. Could this, be how, could this have been some sort of signature? And how were they created? We see simplistic human figures, some stick figures, some a little bit more developed. But what historians have pondered is, why are the drawings of animals so realistic, but the human renderings are stick figures. 
Could this have been some sort of spiritual taboo? Perhaps it was uh, unlucky to portray a realistic human figure? I don't know. We also see repeated imagery of weapons, often spears and bows and arrows. This can give us historical information about how animals were hunted at the time. So what did they use to paint? Historians believe they used a number of natural minerals to paint, uh, such as charcoal, uh, burnt bone or sticks for the black shades, hematite, manganese oxide, red and yellow ochre, calcite, which would give you a white color, and carving instruments such as rock and stone. Powdered pigments were thought to have been mixed with bodily fluids and or water. You might ask yourself, okay, what about like plants and berries? Well, these are believed to have possibly been used, but they would fade or disappear altogether over time. Why did prehistoric man create cave art? There are many, many reasons that have been hypothesized about why prehistoric man chose to create these depictions of man and animal on the cave dwellings. One plausible reason is they just felt like it. Yes, art for art's sake, even in prehistoric times. Many historians believe it to have been documentation or record keeping, um, keeping a record of what animals were present at the time or some sort of tally of the triumphs of a good hunt. There could have also been magical or mystical reasons, um, perhaps to bring good luck to a hunt, or maybe uh, some sort of shaman would go into a cave and enter a trance and then record visions on the wall, or some sort of ritual significance. It could have been a combination of all of the above. Reasons why someone on one continent would create cave drawings could differ from those from a completely different area, as there was no real communication network at the time. Whatever the reason, we're left with historical images all around the world, and sometimes, perhaps the questions raised are better than the answers. They get us thinking, why do people create art? What can art tell us? Questions we will face again and again throughout the history of art. Thank you for watching.